Hello guys, this is your girl Alicia Joya. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make mesh letters inside Blender. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay guys, we're at my desktop right now and we're going to activate Blender. This is uh, Blender 2.81. This is what it looks like. And when you get to the first part of your screen, you're going to need to click General. And here you're going to see this box right here. Now to get rid of it, because we need to get rid of it, we need to press the X button. And then a little dialog box will pop up. And it will say you want to delete. Click it. And it will go bye-bye. Now we need to add to the selection here, to so this area over here. So go to the very top of your screen where it says view, select add object, click add. Now I'm going to scroll down until we find text and some random text will go right here. All right, in order to be able to edit this text, you need to press your tab button. That's your T-A-B button. Okay, you see how this little um, gray line has happened? Well, click your backspace and you can type in anything you want. Okay, and this one we're going to press say hello. Don't worry about the font just yet and click tab once more. And then there you go, it's highlighted. Now on your side of the screen, you're going to see, you see your wrench, you're going to see um, physics op properties, you're going to see um, object constraint properties, then you're going to want to click this A button. That is the text. Now, when you get to it, you're going to want to go to the font first. Now, you can click your little um, file thing, and you can go through your fonts. I have it uh, set by a list display mode at the very top of my screen. So, we're just going to pick Arial, just for sakes of it, all right? And then we are also going to make it 3D. So there is something called extrude. I like to put it at 0.3 as my default. See how like elevated? Now, in order to zoom in, you press your zero button, and it will show up, and you use your mouse wheel and scroll right on in, OK? Uh, and then uh, if you want to rotate, click your R button. Okay. You have to make sure it's got to be highlighted. You're going to see this little rotation ball like you would be in Second Life. And then you're going to rotate it. Then you see a little small dialog box at the bottom. See, it's like 98, 7. Well, I want to reduce this. So you double click it. And then you highlight it. And then press like 90 if you want it to be completely 90 degrees. That's the X axis. You can change any of the axes that you want, but for font, it's easier to do it this way because it's easier to view it when you're about to load it to Second Life. Now, this is going to be this is going to take you know a lot of money in order to be able to you know res this like this in Second Life, and this isn't going to be one print. So, in order to reduce that, we have to go to the object while this letters while the word is highlighted, okay, object, scroll all the way down to convert to mesh from curve data. Now from here, we're going to go to our modifier properties, which is this wrench. And you're going to want to click add modifier. I like to, my favorite one is decimate is the second one and they are in alphabetical order when it comes to generate uh, the form and the physics okay and modify so I click decimate now what this does is going to reduce the amount of triangle count or the face count if you look how I increase it right now the face count is 1353 I am reducing it down a little bit more and you start seeing it start the letter the words start to distort a bit so you try to do it as much as you can. In order for it to apply, because this hasn't applied yet, 
It's now 401 faces versus 1300. Click apply. Now we have to save this file first. We're going to say hello. We're going to say name it anything you want. It's going to be a blend file. It's kind of like a PSD file um, where you can actually edit all the layers, even though there's no layers in Blender. So I'm going to go hello uh, mesh uh, word sign and then um, click save as. Now this doesn't mean you have a file for Second Life. Second Life reads DAE file. So you go back to file and then you're going to have to go to export Colada, which is the default for DAE. All right. See, now you have the extension being .dae. Click Export Colada. And we're going to go right back into Second Life from here. Okay, guys, we are back inside Second Life at this present moment. And now you're going to need to go to the top of your screen in the Build menu. And you're going to need to go to Upload. Now you're going to need to go to Mesh Model. This is where it gets a little bit tricky on how to edit your items. Okay, so let me see if I can find what I save it as. Hold on. Let's go back, file, let's see, save as. Uh, it's in my documents folder. Okay, so it's in my documents. So we go to documents. So hello mesh word sign dot DAE. Click open. Now this dialog box onto the right side is actually your mesh piece. See, I have it 90 degree angle, it says hello. And you can zoom in to see it as big as you can. And you're going to want to go to the top where it says model name. I'm going to put in uh, my logo, LJH, and then designs, hello, mesh sign. Arial font, and then uh, when you get to this part, you're gonna see this. Uh, see this check mark onto the right in the left side where it says ship it. Always click generate normals. Okay, always do that. Now you're gonna want to calculate the weights and fees. You're not paying for it, so we're gonna see how much it is. See, it's already one. It says uh, upload fee is 11 lindens, and the land impact. Which I can highlight, but it says uh, land impact is 0 0.920. So that means it's less than one prim. But I like to lower the letters as far down as I can because, you know, I don't like having too many triangle faces. That's more for us to res. So I like doing this. I know it sounds kind of crazy. But you always reduce. So you, this is the, the medium, the low, and the lowest. Well, that didn't really work out too well. All right. This is when you play with the numbers, you know, and go from there. This is when you have to reset it all over again. There we go. Um, if you mess up like I just did, that's okay. That was purposely intended for this tutorial because I don't want people, you know, freaking out. Going, oh, my goodness, you know, you know, I don't know how I did this. Well, then it's safe to reduce the numbers in the medium low and the lowest where it says uh, medium then the low you want to make it lower than the medium so let's do a 50 right and then for the lowest we're going to put 25 and you click out so that it saves those parameters now we're going to click generate calculate weights and fees see it's still 0.920 no matter what I do so you know if it's going to be the same amount then it's going to then that's awesome. So I want you to take a look at the price breakdown. Download is zero, physics is zero because it has no like movement. Um, textures is zero, which means it's a default white texture, and the model is ten. Okay. So and the physics cost is the base hole is 0.9, the mesh is zero, and the analyze is zero. Now. Um, you can click upload if you're happy with it. So we're going to click upload. It'll take a little while. And then go to your recent. It's just easier to look for in your recent. And then you can res it on the ground. 
Now, in this tutorial, we're going to see, let me show you guys, see how I, I clipped it a little too much on the decimation? That means the decimation needed to be a little bit high, a little bit um, less. So instead of putting it at 0.25 uh, something, it probably needed to be at like 0.5. It's half the decimation. Sometimes you're going to have to decimate everything a little bit more. So you might have to do decimate one more time or even two more times in order to get it lower. Now you right click on it, click on edit. And it says one object, this is one whole object, and the land impact is one. So there you guys go. So now you have mesh, uh, the hello mesh sign aerial font. So that's how you rig it. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to show you how to do another one, okay? We're going to go back into Fire, into uh, Blender, excuse me, and then I'm going to go to New, click General, or back to this box again. Okay, click your X button, you know, like the like when you're logging out Second Life, and you click your X button, same X button. I would say delete one more time, and then we are going to go to the top, add, add text, and then we are going to click our tab button, click our backspace button, put the word love because you know I'm in love, click your A button on the side of your right side. And then we're going to decide for the font. The more curlier the font, the more you're going to have to decimate um, when you go to the applier. So we're just going to pick, I don't know. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Let's just go to um, that one, whatever that one's called. Okay. Now, love. And now we're going to have to go to geometry and go extrude as far as you want or as little as you want. It, you cannot rig mesh when it's flat. So you cannot turn this into a mesh object when it's completely flat. So you have to create it some form of dimension. Okay? And then click your tab button again and the whole word will select. Click your zero to zoom in or your mouse wheel. You can zoom in if you like. Click R for rotate. R is for rotate and then use your things, your circles to Move them around by direction, if you like. I messed up, so there we go. And if it's a little off, it's cool. Okay, well, it's okay. Now, we'll click the rotate at the bottom. I'm going to fix this to zero. Okay, so. Highlight it, click zero, click enter, right, and then... We're going to change the axis, axis this way. So you can change it, you can rotate it, you can move, move your uh, mouse button round and round and round, if that's what you want. 100 and, uh, 360 degrees or 90 degrees is also good. At the very top of your screen, you're going to see these little buttons at the top. You can free roam. So what you could do is you click shift move around, you can move, uh, then control does the other direction. I mean, this whole thing is pretty freaking epic, okay? Now you zoom in as far as you can, it's as far as I'm comfortable <laughs> with, and then we're done. The spelling's correct, the, uh, the font upper, lowercase, because once you get done doing this, and you go and you change it to a mesh, Mesh from Curve made a surf text. Guess what? You cannot edit the font after that. So I clicked it, click your modifier, and then we're going to go to decimate. In the ratio section, you're going to lower it down. If you lower it all the way down, you see it gets really badly distorted. We don't want that. So I'm going to make it about 50, about point, about halfway. And then we need to go and click apply. So go to your top of your little dialogue over here and a little arrow and then scroll down and apply. Now we're going to go and save this, save this as love, I was in, I gotta learn how to spell, okay, in capitals, normal font, I was, this is just for me, you can name it anything you like, click save as, 
Now we get to go back in Second Life and call it export to Colada because that's how Second Life reads. Okay, and then we said export to Colada. Yes, yes, yes. Go back to Second Life. And then we are going to go into Build Menu, Upload, Mesh Model. Then I'm going to find the word love, if you could find it. What did I do with it? Love in capitals. Okay. All right. Now, here, we could turn it around and see the word love. And right now, we want to click Generate Normals. And then we want to, you know, change the, the title of this. So go to your model name. That's what you're going to name the piece. If you mess up and you forget to name it now, it's okay. You can always, you know, name it in your inventory. Okay. Uh, whoops. See, no, not even anything. Signs. Um, uh, love word in capitals. Um, mesh sign. So I know it's mesh. Okay. Mesh sign. Now we need to calculate the weights and the fees. See this land impact is half of that, it's 0 0.520, but the upload fee is 11. As you can see, I have 20,480 lindens. So at the top of my screen, and I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, even with all these triangles, I don't have to manipulate the median, the low, and the lowest values. I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna click upload. And then we wait, and then we go. And then we res it. And then we zoom in and see our finished product. And it is indeed the words love. And one object selected, land impact is one. So that is how you guys create mesh inside Second Life. So thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you need any help. My name is Alicia Joya Haven. My name, my profile, right here, Alicia Joya Haven. Feel free to IM me in world if you need any more help with this. Thank you guys for everything and I'll see you guys soon in the next video.